I think when it's used to try to establish absolute dates, it's extremely problematic. It does have errors. There is something about radiocarbon in the ancient Near East that does not play nice with radiocarbon dating. Attempts to correlate radiocarbon dating with dendrochronology have not exactly been successful in the Near East because trees don't form tree rings in the Near East. So there isn't a separation of carbon between the tree rings like you find in, say, the northern or the, even the deep southern hemispheres. Now, with that said, I think radiocarbon does have a particular use. If you got, say, two samples, if you got two samples and you radiocarbon date them, and they're, they have reasonable parity between them, the one thing you can determine is which one is older than the other. Radiocarbon dating will give you relative dating. 